Hello and welcome to MedHead, your uh, study guide for studying in Europe uh, and studying in uh, medicine, pharmacy, veterinary medicine and all of these. So welcome to the show. Today we have Mr. Peter. Thank you Mr. Peter for joining the show. Thank you very much. Uh, he is a uh, very knowledgeable and consultant uh, for processing uh, all sort of documents, uh, for processing and uh, arranging um, different admission processes uh, with universities from around Europe. And today we are going to touch upon one of the crucial and one of the largest university in Slovakia, the Komenius University from Bratislava. We'll be speaking about the Faculty of Pharmacy. So we're going to discuss about how you become a pharmac pharmacist from there, what are the requirements, uh, what's the admission process, and all of these. So uh, Mr. Peter, shortly maybe tell us a bit about the Komenius University and the Faculty of uh, Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Sure. So the Komenius University is the oldest university in uh, Slovakia. It was founded in 1919, and uh, it's around 600 best universities worldwide according to multiple uh, rankings and it provides also multiple and various study programs so pharmacy is one of that okay uh, faculty of pharmacy it's uh, located uh, in um, uh, next to the hockey stadium so for those of the uh, for fans. those students uh, who are fans of, uh, of the of the hockey, it might be ideal option. <laughs> that's great. That's great. And uh, the faculty is based uh, out of Bratislava, so you stay in the uh, capital city. A lot of happening throughout the city. A lot of uh, research scope projects, companies as well. So it's a good scope in general. Yeah. Uh, but like speaking about the admission process, uh, walk us through a bit about how does the admission process look in terms of timeline. When does it start? When does it finish? And so on. And so the admission process usually starts in February. Okay. And it uh, goes until end of July. Uh, there are documents which you need to submit firstly in electronic form, okay. and then also like. It's ideal if you submit also your academic documents and medical certificate uh, in paper form to the faculty study office. All right. So documents which you need to submit, it's uh, CV in English. Uh, then you need to submit medical uh, confirmation that you are eligible to work as a pharmacist after okay. graduation. Then a proof of payment of the administration fee, which is 50 euros. All right. And then academic documents. So academic documents that are needed to uh, for you to be uh, apostilled or legalized. Mm -hmm. um, this is the part that uh, Mr. Peter helps with. So feel free to reach out to him, discuss if you're planning to study medicine or uh, even pharmacy. Uh, so Mr. Peter, does uh, this also include, uh, for example, application, like a formal application or um, SOP or something? So all the documents you will submit in the electronic system of the university. All right. Uh, which is also in the English interface, but you do not need to write any motivational letter. Admission is based on the written uh, entrance exam multiple choice test. Okay, okay, that's uh, that's actually great. So uh, maybe walk us through a bit about uh, this exam that you mentioned. So how do, how is it based? What are the subjects that they're asking questions? And if it's online or if it's offline, you have to be in Slovakia. So once you submit the documents, there will be various uh, op options for you to write the entrance exam. So the first entrance exam took place on 23rd of February and the last entrance exam will happen on 9th of August. So basically all students who submit the application, mm -hmm. they will then get the invitation for the entrance exam. They will get online link. Uh, so at that time they will click on it and they will get uh, 50 questions from chemistry and 50 questions from biology. For the preparation, you can use the booklets from the faculty. Okay. Uh, so there are approximately 560 questions uh, with the answers also uh, from biology and also the same from the chemistry. Nice. This is a very interesting uh, concept in uh, Slovakia. Many a times it happens that before your exam, you're given the topics or even like questions and answers as well. So probably it's like very uh, like uh, lenient to crack the exam and score high in it. Uh, but in general, like uh, you spoke about like the um, like um, exam process. 
uh, when it comes to like uh, the tenure of the degree or for example how long is the duration and so on so how long uh, does someone have to study to become a pharmacist yes so you need to study for five years okay. and the tuition fees are ten thousand five hundred euros is that a bachelor's degree or a master's it's like in like, we call it integrated study so okay. when you finish the degree it's like combination of bachelor and master it's right. not divided but you get the one degree okay so it's complete five years but you pass with masters and probably you can start practicing yes yeah, exactly way. yeah great uh, mr. Peter and uh, what about living uh, in general in Bratislava for pharmaceutical students and do you see some scope of that mm -hmm. so one important information is that the faculty does not offer uh, um, dormitories for the right. students so students they need to look for their own um, accommodation but there are many sh shared apartments where maybe uh, per person it can be 250 to 300 euros per mm -hmm. month including yes. uh, in energies I would say monthly expenses would be maybe 550 to 600 euros yes, per person yes. that's a good that's a good um, estimate I would say for Bratislava mm -hmm. Bratislava is a bit more expensive compared to the other cities but 550 to 600 is good enough for a student to stay eat party once in a while mm -hmm. so yeah that should be perfectly fine uh, anything else you would like to add for our viewers so this uh, course it's uh, popular um, um, for different nationalities but um, there are many students also from Iran because mm -hmm. uh, this degree is a uh, communist university as such is recognized uh, in Iran after graduation okay uh, also like it has big um, options for the employment after you graduate so it's definitely a good option for those of you who would like to proceed either in the in the pharmaceutical area or maybe then uh, in the research. So okay. I highly recommend okay. this faculty. Very, very interesting, very interesting actually. So quite a, uh, quite international class you'll have. Communist University has a lot of international students, English speaking. Uh, there's difference over there in Europe generally, like uh, international students can be also like speaking the local language, but Communist University has English speaking international classes and exposure. So in general, like it's a good study experience. If you feel like uh, you want to study, explore more about this university and also like uh, you plan to study pharmacy, medicine or veterinary, feel free to reach out to us reach out to Mr. Peter, he will guide you, <clears throat> he will consult you, what are the best university, what are the best options that you can have, and accordingly you can plan your medical studies, your applications and so on. So right now the time is running because uh, the um, academic classes starts mostly from September or October, so it's better you uh, fasten up your process and um, try to get it done as fast as possible. So thanks for watching, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video, share it with someone who is planning to study medicine, studying right now, share your experiences. And do comment uh, all the relevant uh, topics you would like us to cover in terms of studying medicine, in terms of studying pharmacy, veterinary medicine, and all of these in Europe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.